Head north from the San Francisco Bay Area on Highway 101 past some grassy hillscapes and within an hour you'll reach Petaluma, the butter and egg capital of Northern California, which is still celebrated every year with a spectacular country parade. Petaluma, California. This is a town that used to be a big hub. The railroad used to come through here. Uh, the central post office used to come through here. This town also has the distinction of being the site of the first airmail delivery in 1911, when Fred Wiseman, a race car driver, built his Curtis Wright Farman biplane and flew it 20 miles to Santa Rosa, carrying with him a handful of letters for the post office. The actual airplane is on display at the National Air and Space Museum. Wiseman built it from photographs that he had seen of the Wright Brothers plane. Someone had created a model of his plane and we had it here at the museum. Right now, it's kind of a uh, sleepy little neighborhood, but uh, the nearby wine country has uh, put it on uh, tourist maps. Let's have a look. I like coming here to shop for things at the mass market malls ignore. Copperfields is a local independent bookstore chain that has a wide range of staff curated books and a wonderful basement full of secondhand, rare, and collectible volumes. We're losing track of time for an afternoon. Heebie Jeebie is a quirky and eclectic gift shop if you want to surprise someone with something they never knew they wanted. And of course, antiques, many of the grand storefronts that were once banks and hotels in the town's historic heyday are now repurposed as vast antique stores and galleries where you can rummage through the treasures of past eras and bring home a bit of Petaluma's eclectic history. And some things remain from those days. Rex Ace Hardware has been in business here since 1907 and the spectacular McNear Building, which houses restaurants, offices, and an entire theater, radiates handsomely over the town with its novel decorative iron columns by O'Connor and Lewis Architectural Ironworks in San Francisco. You can catch a show at the Mystic Theater and grab a burger at McNear's restaurant, which still inhabits this stately bar venue. Across Kentucky Street is the Public Library Museum, which houses a collection of local artifacts through which you can enter a time warp to the Petaluma of earlier times. So this is the Petaluma Historical Library and Museum. We're on the corner of 4th and B Street. And we are actually a Carnegie Museum Cornerstone late in 1904. 
And it's a fascinating old town because it's one of these places where the history of it uh, still exists. It hasn't been overbuilt. So right now I'm going through this wall, which is the remnant of whatever construction was there before. When you live in a, an urban area, it's nice to get out to these areas. People here might not like me saying this, but it's the, the fact that it is kind of a backwater, never really going to achieve its form of glory, is kind of what preserves it. So I like coming to these kind of areas because you, know, you get a sense of layers of history. And then there's the riverfront. The Petaluma River was a major route of transportation in the early 20th century. Connecting to the San Francisco Bay, Today it's been re-inhabited by art studios and restaurants and is the stage for many local events, including this Thanksgiving Day celebration featuring Santa Claus himself appearing on the Bar Berlin to greet the crowds of hopeful children. Lots of restaurants of every kind, Asian, Italian, cafes, and diners, with a small town vibe that makes everything taste a little better. between a place that's comfortable, a place that has the energy to stimulate you, but yet the ability to provide you with privacy and solitude when you need it, appreciation of nature, the ability to let your mind expand and explore. It's kind of why I like these mid-level towns where essentially it used to be a larger town with a population of a smaller town. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll let you know where we're going next on Peter's Grand Tour. <laughs>